United Kingdom. They're the radio legends who are making a big return to the airwaves. <laughs> yeah, you may know Diddy David Hamilton and Graham Dean better for the sounds of their voice on countless radio shows and stations. Well, now they have devised a new show, uh, one which they broadcast live from their homes every day, and they join brilliant. us from their own studios now to tell us more. Good morning Good to morning. both of you. How lovely to see you. Hi, Diddy you David well. Hamilton, who, the, the, the voice of my childhood. Oh. Uh, Graham Dean, welcome to you as well. Lovely to have you uh, both on the show. So, um, David, explain what Boom Radio is. Well, Boom Radio is a station for the boomers who've been largely ignored by radio up until now. Most stations chasing younger audiences, so they've been very neglected. So at last they have their own station and the, the response has been fantastic. We launched in uh, February this year, in fact, on Valentine's Day, with about half a dozen uh, DABs around the country. And within a month we went national. Such was the uh, feedback that we had. So people love it. But I think one of the keys is that we've got lots of records. You know, some stations, uh, as you know, have a very limited playlist, but we have 10,000 songs, um, and that's increasing all the time. I said to our head of music the other day, you've got a very large repertoire, and I think he took it well. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Graham, for you, there's no sort of central hub here. There's no central studio, so you are doing this from home. Yes, here I am in Hertfordshire, surrounded by all those vinyl records I bought all those years ago when I was a teenager. And yeah, you know, th this radio station is the one that I think a lot of people of our age have been waiting for for years and years because they've become disillusioned with music radio, which has got younger and younger on many radio stations. So we're filling the void. We love our 60s. We love our 70s. But we go earlier than that. We go beyond that. You know, from we'll play Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole, all the way up to the latest Robert Plant and Alison Krauss. Yeah, don't tell anybody. We, we do play new records. <laughs> <laughs> and, we know how to. <laughs> and, uh, and also, Graham, others have tried this. I'm thinking of Saga Radio, um, and, and and it hasn't gone particularly well. Uh, but there is something that you you have all done that has that struck a chord here. Maybe the music, obviously the the, the names, because there are fantastic names on the station, which we'll list in a moment. Um, but but. Also, do you think there's an element of a bit of pirate radio here, that you're all in your individual houses and, and I know that David started in his shed? So, uh, so is that a, an attraction? You know, Philip, you hit the nail on the head there. That's exactly the feeling our listeners have, and they tell us about that in droves. I mean, the feedback has been beyond our expect expectations. Uh, one wrote to me today and said, um, their other half didn't used to listen to the radio, but now she's a convert. And people say it's just like the pirate days. I like to think that we are, how can I sum it up? A, a kind of contemporary version of the past. So, you know, we play a bit of everything. And as David was alluding to just now, we have the widest playlist in the land. It's not just the same old tried and tested records. Of course, we play the hits, the popular records, but we go even further and play those lesser spotted ones that make people think, wow, haven't heard that for ages. That's our raison d'etre for Philip. And, and David, I mean, you know, the, the numbers speak for themselves, really, more than anything else. It's doing incredibly well. It's gaining in popularity. And you, personally, are making history because you are now the oldest DJ to host a daily show. So congratulations to you. Yes, that's right. I'm 83. And uh, if you want to know the secret of my longevity, it's clean living. Um, so um, I hope you both take a note of that. Yeah, and Graham too late as well. for that. It's the end of us. Yeah, then. too late for that. But... Um, <laughs> I walk, I walk the dog every day and uh, I've got a pool here, so I swim in my pool and um, I try to do all the right things. So, yeah, but I, like Graham says, you know, I'm just absolutely loving it, loving uh, broadcasting from home. Last year was a dreadful year because we were in lockdown, as you know. Everything was cancelled. I was going to do a Pointless Celebrities and it was cancelled the day before because they couldn't get health insurance for me at my age. Isn't that dreadful? Oh, wow. Um, I, I also had, um, you know, radio stuff, which I couldn't do, and uh, lunch and dinner talks and everything. And all of a sudden, along came this invitation. And uh, David Lloyd, who runs the station, said to me, we're going to do a station for the boomers. Would you like to be part of it? And he said, the great thing is you can broadcast from home. We'll give you a microphone. We'll give you headphones. Um, and all the music will be on a computer. So I don't have to travel anywhere. I just go into the shed in the garden or my little studio 
people upstairs. It's wonderful. You won't be making any mistakes like you. I mean, I know that you have made, you know, sort of one mistake in the past where uh, I mean, it's all computerised, as you say, so all the tracks are safely uh, loaded up. But, um, yeah. but you did play a quite explicit track on the radio, didn't you? I did, yes. It was when I was at Radio 1, and in those days uh, it was all vinyl. And um, I actually had a Rolling Stones album, and I played the wrong track, and it was Mick Jagger uh, singing a very naughty word over and over again, which I won't repeat on a good family show. Uh, but, the, of course, in those days, you, while one track was playing on one deck, you would be, that's it, you'd be setting up one on the other. There, I'm doing it there, look. And so you didn't always hear the words, and the technical operator next door said to me, have you heard the words of this? So I said, no. He said, well, I think you better listen. So very quickly, I faded it out, went to the next record, took the old P off, and it said, under no circumstances must track four be played. And I thought I was playing track three. <laughs> He's a... oh, God. Uh, well, I mean, it's uh, just just amazing. Um, it's uh, it, obviously vital to keep uh, those brilliant voices on the radio, and there are more. David Simons from Radio 2 and Radio 4, Roger Day, uh, there's Nicky Horn, um, and uh, and also the ladies are represented as well. Uh, Judy Spires emailed me yesterday and said, don't forget to mention me. Uh, so she takes over from this weekend, from five till seven. She's made her debut, but now she's become a regular. There's also Esther Ranson, her daughter Rebecca Wilcox, Diana Luke, uh, Jenny Handley from Magpie, mm. and Jane Markham uh, as well. So. Uh, uh, there you go. That's where you'll find all those famous voices. Thank you very much, Thank Steve. You. Lots of success to you all. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for telling everybody about us. We really appreciate that. Thank oh, you. Oh, Thank pleasure. you. Thank you so much. Bye.